All right, okay, so let's get started. And um, uh, it's just relaxed, very informal chat, and that's it. So, um, so hi, today I'm speaking to Harry Young, and he's in Madrid. And a big congratulations to Harry, because he's just got his, uh, a job here in Spain after going through a Spanish interview. So, hi, Harry, how are you doing? Hello, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so Harry, so first of all, before we get into the job, where, where are you from in the UK and where are you living at the moment? So I'm from uh, Yeovil, Somerset in the UK, uh, the southwest, and I'm currently living in Madrid, or to the and, south of Madrid. Right, brilliant. So where, um, how long have you been here, Harry? So originally I was here in, would have been October 2019, and then... I left in July 2020 and came back in December 2020. Right. So you've got residency here now then? I have, yes. Yep. Brilliant. Brilliant. So you got in just before the, the barriers came down. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Good pretty close. Cool. Right. So Harry, tell us about what you do here in Spain and um, what made you get into the line of work you're in here in Spain? Was it something you did in the UK? Yeah, so I'm here in Spain. I'm, I'm a gardener. Um, although in England I was an arborist, so I've come over and I've I've got nine years nine years experience doing kind of gardening, tree work, and it's just a, the next kind of logical step to look for it here in in Spain. Right. So so tell us about this interview then. What? How did it go about? How did you get the interview in the first place? And uh, who who's it for? What is the company? So. I just started sending out my CV um, because I knew I was coming back to Spain in December. I, I was in Canada and then when I was in Canada, I just sent my CV to so many companies. It was it almost seems ridiculous, really, but kind of every company that appeared on Google, on different searches, I just sent my CV. And then, yeah, I got a phone call uh, last week saying, can you come in for an interview, um, which which I did. And then. Yeah, from there it was. I mean, it was completely in Spanish, but yeah, it, it went it went pretty well. So, how how was your Spanish? What would you say your level of Spanish is? Um, yeah, not great. Um, it's it could definitely be a lot better, to be honest. But it's I can I can understand a lot more than I can speak. Right. Which, yeah, in, in so case, they asked you questions in Spanish, and you responded in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I didn't understand everything, but I mean, within like a closed context, I can kind of gather what 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 he's asking, what they're saying, and I can kind of reply accordingly, just about in, in my limited uh, knowledge of Spanish. Brilliant. So, so when do you start work, or have you started already? Yeah, so I've already started. So I had the interview on Monday. I was told that I got the job on Tuesday, and I started on Thursday and Friday. Brilliant, brilliant. And uh, you you're happy with the company? They're looking after you? Yes. Um, I mean, straight away, they provided me with my kind of PPE. They've got a nice kind of uniform that, that we wear. And yeah, they, they've got my boots, my kind of ear defenders, glasses, everything that I need. And I, I did have a bad experience when I first got here in December um, with, with another company, which uh, they, they didn't provide anything at all. You know, we are using chainsaws and everything with no, with no helmets, no glasses, and pe people were using them, which they didn't have a clue what they were doing. But it's just the the way that the company wanted you to to work, which was not was not mm. not good. Yeah, things are changing fast in now with the health and safety issues and that. So that's good in in a way. So um, so you're working with other Spanish guys, or or is there anybody else there that speaks English? Yeah, no, no one, no one speaks English, which is it can be pretty difficult, um, especially like communicating, you know, on like a lunch break, it can be tough to to kind of have a laugh, but we still we still manage it. Um, brilliant. Your Spanish should improve ten times faster. Exactly. I, even just in the first two days, I picked up so many new words and phrases and things which I would never have heard of before. I bet a lot of swear words as well. You're learning, no? Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, there's a few. <laughs> When I had the guys working on my house here, uh, when you sit down for lunch, lunchtime, we'll sit in there having a sandwich. It's pretty much the same as back in the UK. You sit there talking about life and the world, and then the, the dirty jokes come out and the bad language. So you start learning some new words straight away. So that's uh, 
it's a bit of an eye opener, isn't it? That's it. So you're so you're doing gardening work or tree surgeon work or a mixture? So for this company, because I've had some back issues, um, I'm I'm kind of on the ground, but there are they have a machine, so like a, a mute that kind of goes up into the tree, which really makes it a lot easier. And it's at the moment we're still clearing up from a storm Philomena, which was here was it two three maybe a month ago? Yeah. And it, it caused havoc, especially in Madrid. Um, yeah. It's just devastated gardens, parks. So there's still a lot of work to do. Yeah, brilliant. So, um, what about um, the the area where you are? It's all in the based in the Madrid area, is it, or do you get to travel around a lot? I mean, most of it is like the north, kind of northwest uh, Madrid. Um, I mean, the south. It's. I mean, it's basically where you know the bigger houses are. The the more money is. We're working mainly in the north of yeah. Madrid. Yeah. So, what do you think of Madrid then? There's a place to live. I like it. I mean, in, in the summer, like last year, it was incredible. The, the heat. I, I wasn't prepared for the heat at all. Um, it, yeah, there's days it was, you know, 40 degrees was, it, it was, yeah, it, it's pretty difficult to get used to it. But I mean, I, I do like Madrid, you know, lots of parks. Um, you know, you, obviously you're in central Spain. So it's, it's not too far to get around to, to various places. It's got good train links to Barcelona, Valencia, especially. Yeah. So it's kind of like the, the central hub. Yeah. So as far as work goes at the moment with the restrictions and that, what's it like? Because a lot of the restrictions are starting to lift at the moment all over Spain and different areas, slowly but surely. Um, is that affecting your work much? Yeah, it's not, no. Um, I think with classes, uh, it's kind of a, almost an essential service, especially considering the storm. So yeah. we, you know, we've never had a problem to to get out before and even when I was here in December with another company we were working as you know as usual. So Harry as far as trying to find work here British people coming to Spain or members of the group other members what advice would you give them if they come here and as many of them say to me there's no work in Spain you can't get work in Spain and it's even worse for a British person that like yourself doesn't speak very much Spanish, but you've done it, you've proven it. So what, what's the trick? What would you say is the thing that they need to do? I mean, I'd say, first of all, you've got to just take steps in learning the language uh, gradually. Um, I'll be honest, when I first got here in 2019, um, I didn't really invest any time at all in, in learning the language, um, which was obviously it's completely my fault. And that, that really limits you to the options you have. So I think definitely the first step is to to pick up just some phrases that you can try and get by with. It yeah. makes you, you know, especially local people think, you know, you're making an effort so they they could be more willing to, to help you if, if you, if you ever need it. Sure. And then of course, once you, I mean, the money's not brilliant, as you said earlier to me that, you know, the money's not brilliant here. Um, and that's not the point really. The point is you've got a job and you've got experience and everything else that comes along with that. And then so in time you have the possibility if you want it to, to set up your own business or go self-employed. But what I tell people is don't worry about the money. As same as when I first moved here, I was earning on less than half of what I was earning in the UK. But the experiences that I learn and the, the knowledge that I gained from working with other Spanish people and my uh, my Spanish improved dramatically. That's how I started setting up on my own. So really working for the money is not important. The main thing is getting the job and, and getting the experience. And like yourself, dive in at the deep end. You're immersing with the Spanish people daily. So it's going to open up more more opportunities, don't you think? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, you get your foot in the door. And then from here, because I had a business in England doing uh, tree surgery, and I did think about starting up straight away here in Spain. But I mean, looking back, that, that's a ridiculous uh, option because, you know, I'm doing the job now. Yeah, the pay's not great, but I'm getting more contacts. I'm, I'm realizing how the work's um, being carried out here in Spain. It's so much different to, to the English way of, of doing things. So, you know, I'm, I'm learning a lot more, getting some contacts and just sure. immersing myself in, in, the way it's, in the way it's done. The thing with what, the way you're doing it, which I think is brilliant and it's absolutely spot on. When when I first came here, I worked for a, um, an English company and I was limited. I was working with mostly English clients. 
So we hardly did any work for Spanish customers at all. And it wasn't until I went self-employed, I realized what a holdback that was for me because I was limiting my earnings to only half. But once I started working for some Spanish companies and like yourself, you know, learn the language better and find out where they get their materials from. And you can buy materials and learn their contacts um, you're working for both the Spanish and the English, which gives you a much better advantage over probably 80% of the British people that come here and looking for work. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, you, so um, I, I didn't ask you before, are you, are you married? You've got family here? Yeah, so I, I've got a girlfriend here. So I'm, I'm, we're living with my girlfriend and her family at the moment. Um, so she, yeah, she's definitely warned me about some of the kind of the bad words I've picked up at work um, you know when to use them and when not to use them <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah yeah so we've been together three years um, we spent a year or two in in England and then we spent a year here in Spain brilliant brilliant so is she gonna work here does she work here or plan yeah, for she, that in the future yeah she's currently on the last part of an internship which is obviously very very common here in, in Spain but she's She's going to get a full time job in in May when the internship ends. She's going to stay on with the with the same company that she's with now. Brilliant. So future's looking good for you, even in the uh, situation in Spain at the moment. Hopefully, with the restrictions, um, you know, you, I don't think you're going to be short of work because I, I, I've been through Madrid several times, and uh, as you say, there's loads of parks and and areas of uh, uh, tree lands and stuff like that. And they do really look after I mean, here where I live, I live near El Maria Airport and they're always out trimming the trees and, and the bushes and that. And it's very well kept, the the infrastructure here of the, the area. So I think you've got a, a, a good long career in front of you doing what you're doing here. Yeah, that's it. Like I said, the growing season, it's all pretty quick growing here. You know, they keep everything with the, with the weather. It's... You know, they they water everything and it's, it's pretty quick growing and there's, there's always things to be doing and like the, the clear up from uh, Philomena is going to take another month at least to to recover the backlog. Yeah, and uh, better working conditions here. You can be outside in the sunshine rather than the pouring rain of the UK or especially from where you're from. But get a lot of rain back there in that part of England, don't they? Yeah, they do. I mean, I, I keep checking the weather, as I'm sure most of us do back in England. It's absolutely awful. Uh, my family, you know, they send me pictures of just the constant rain always coming down. And I just don't I just don't miss it at all. Not, not, not one bit. Like yourself, I used to work as a carpenter builder outside. And I remember in November with my hat and coat and gloves on and my tools getting wet through, sitting in a van with a cup of tea, waiting for the rain, rain to stop pouring down the windscreen. Here, it's slightly different. You have to put on suntan cream two or three times before you get outside the van. But, I mean, that I can live with. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got a slight tan already, to be honest, just in, in February. You know, I've got a... A little tan coming on but it's yeah it's, it's so much nicer and it's just pleasant working conditions i mean it's still the hard work but you know you appreciate so much more when it's the, the blue sky the sun every day it's it's you know i really i don't think i could go back to to the uk and, and work in those conditions again it's depressing isn't it, it people really say is. it's not all about the weather but when you've lived and worked here a little while after work in the UK, you say maybe it is all about the weather. Yeah, it definitely is. I even just I just feel happier, you know, when you when you wake up, it's the blue sky, the sun. You just I just feel better, to be honest. Sure. We we got cloudy skies here today in El Maria. I don't know what it's like where you are, but the forecast is for bright sunshine later and tomorrow. If it's cloudy one day, the next day is going to be sunshine. So for sure, it's going to be better than certainly better than the UK is having at the moment. That's it, yeah. It's a bit bit cloudy here, but um, like you said, it's the last however long it's it's been sunny, and yeah, I mean tomorrow the next day is going to be back to regular sunshine. Well, brilliant to talk to you, Harry, and congratulations on your job. And just one last word from you for people that are saying there's no work in Spain, it's difficult for. Uh, somebody that's English trying to compete with the Spanish that doesn't speak very good Spanish. What do you say to them? I say try and try and think of uh, like get out, get that out of your mind and just. I mean, I've had three jobs in in two months since I've been here, so there is definitely work there. You just gotta just keep going and just 
don't give up keep trying learn the spanish send your cv and just contact everyone and try and get as many people in your that, that you know and contacts you know it, it all really helps and it, it's not as difficult as it as it seems brilliant okay great well brilliant thanks for talking to us harry and um i wish you luck in the future all the best yeah. thanks for joining Cheers, us David. thank you right so i'll cut i'll cut it off there um i'll, I'll post it in the next few days on the uh, blog post and uh, i'll send you a link so you can have a listen to it um but it's a very good um I, i'm just amazed because you know it's come at the right time people have been so depressed lately with all the restrictions and everything yeah. And I've, I've had so many personal messages that were from people saying, you need to be more realistic, tell people it's difficult and tell this. And then you got this job and there's somebody else that's a plumber here that's been trying to get working for ages. He's got a job as a plumber working for a Spanish company. So I'm doing an interview with him in the next few days. Um, you know, it's possible. It's just that most of the people, they don't bother to learn the language and they don't put their CVs out or try and, you know, somebody said to me, I don't, well, I put my CV out, but people don't understand it. I said, you put it out in Spanish. I went, no. Uh, what, what planet are you living on, you know? <laughs> yeah, so what, what do you expect? I mean, I, I mean, to be honest, I was very lucky. Like, my girlfriend kind of translated my CV, you know, she, she did all those things for me. Um, so she, she's been really good. But again, it's just, I mean, you wouldn't go to England and hand your CV out in Spanish, would you? You know, it's... You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Some of the questions I get asked and the things people tell me, you know. So I had a message from someone this morning saying that um, we've sold their place in the UK. We're so happy. Um, thanks for all the help and information. We're coming, hopefully coming out in the next couple of weeks. We want to buy a bar in Spain. So I said, have you got residency? No, but we'll sort that out when we get there. I, I thought, what? Are you not watching the television? Are you not? <laughs> where do i start okay <laughs> that's it yeah it's uh i mean obviously it's it's been pretty difficult the last since this new year but it's still ways but i mean people have really got a i think a lot of people think oh yeah you know we're moved to spain everything's going to be completely turn around whereas yeah it's, it's it's not as easy as it seems and but it's definitely not as difficult as it seems either um I don't know, I think it's... It's the effort you put in, mate. That's what it is. Exactly, yeah. Like and said, uh, not everybody's willing to do the same things. And, uh, you know, that's why some people make it here and some don't. I've seen so many, you know. Um, but anyway, congratulations on that. And uh, thanks for doing this for us. And right. uh, I'll speak to you soon. Yep, sounds good. Cheers, David. All the best. Cheers. Yeah.